Hello nation. Today we're going to talk about the coronavirus and diabetes. Is it true that people with diabetes like myself have a higher risk of getting the coronavirus? The answer is just like adult diapers. It depends. If your glucose control is really good, your A1C is around seven, your risk for getting the coronavirus is no higher than anybody else in the community. But if your glucose control is not good, let's just say your hemoglobin A1C is 8.5 or 9% or higher, your average blood sugars are above 200, you're at risk for not only getting the coronavirus higher than anybody else, but any type of infection. So that's really important. Now, what about if you have underlying medical conditions, heart disease, lung disease, kidney disease? That puts anybody at a higher risk, not only for getting the virus, but also having a hard time getting rid of it and getting healthy again. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of the coronavirus and are they different in people with diabetes? Well, don't forget, I have diabetes, but I'm also a doctor, so I know something about this area. It is fever, cough, sore throat, and the one that really worries a lot of us healthcare professionals, shortness of breath. So that's basically the same. They're no different for people with diabetes. What about the therapies? Once again, no different. Lots of fluids, take over-the-counter medications such as throat lozenges if you have a sore throat, cough medicines to suppress your cough, maybe some NyQuil if you're congested, and bring down your fever with Tylenol. Many medications such as uh, Advil and Motrin, they're anti-inflammatories and they're kind of hard on the kidneys. So if you have diabetes and you have some kidney issues, really stay away from those medications. So it's really important to know that what we need to do that's different than the average person, we gotta control our blood sugars. What happens to our blood sugars with the coronavirus? Do they go up or they go down? Once again, it depends. For some people that are really under good control and they may not have a good appetite, they're on insulin, you gotta watch out for low blood sugar. Other people maybe with type two diabetes that any type of medical stress can raise your blood sugars. And who knows, maybe you're, you're eating at home more than you normally would and not getting any exercise. So the bottom line is it's variable and you need to test your blood sugar. For those of us that have a continuous glucose monitor, makes it really easy. For those of you that have to prick your finger, I'm so sorry, but it's important that you test more now than you normally would. So in closing nation, remember, stay calm. We're gonna get through this and stay healthy until the next time we come on with some more advice. So long.